okay, so hello, my name is uh, Fintan Wouter Murray Raukema. I'm a research and teaching associate here at the University of Sheffield. Uh, the particular area of mathematics I work in uh, is very visual. Um, so, so somehow, well, it's, it's hard to say, but I mean, the equations are sort of secondary to uh, the pictures. Um, so that the, the work is just completely full of pictures. And so this uh, mathematician, Fomenko, is also an artist and he represents many of these extremely abstract mathematical ideas through his artwork. So many of his pieces are things like uh, pictures that represent, you know, things like the Alexander Horn sphere or uh, the mathematical concept of infinity and just sort of various different ideas from mathematics. Art conveys an idea or a feeling or an emotion. The idea is to communicate something. And, you know, somehow in mathematics, I mean, there is no sort of, no closer way of getting inside someone else's mind, inside, inside their sort of thought process than rigorously sort of following through this. Uh, so in other, in other words, you're, you're, t you're making the same journey, precisely the same journey that they've made when they've put together, you know, some sequence of sentences or so that they want you to, uh, to follow. So and I think very often artists or writers, they have the same idea. I mean, the rules are a bit looser, but they want you to, uh, to follow a sort of a sequence of different emotions or feelings and they're trying to communicate that to you. And, but you know, this is what mathematicians do. They're always devoted to a different, different space kind of surgery. Oh, interesting. Okay, so 315 is certainly then relevant, whatever 315 is. Oh, lovely, okay. Huh. Okay, so this is very relevant to something I'm thinking about right now. Okay, so yeah, so what, so what it represents, this uh, diagram on the right-hand side, very loosely speaking, is a means of drilling out some sort of a hole in, a, in, in some sort of a space with a very special structure. Okay, so it's like a worm, I don't know, moving through an orange, eating its way through. And uh, it depicts... It, it represents a way of, I don't know, some other insect going through the, uh, the orange and re-gluing re in all that material um, in some different way. Uh, and there's, there's a lot to say about that, but um, maybe not just now. <laughs> but, because not, not only was that completely informal and perhaps misleading, uh, but there's a lot. There's there's a lot to say about. Was that was this story. the was that the illustration that you were surprised and delighted to discover? Yeah, just yeah. Why yeah. why was it why was it interesting to discover it? What about what is it about that illustration well, it's, it's or, just that or I've, the concept? I've, I've spent a significant amount of time thinking about what this uh, what this picture represents. Like I mean, a really significant amount of time, and so it's sort of. It's, it's great to sort of see this sort of visual sort of uh, picture depicting in some sort of abstract but non-mathematically abstract sense what, uh, what, what someone believes is happening. Can I, can I ask about the, the kind of step-by-step step here? So were, were you aware of the concept, You're, you were already aware of the concept that that um, illustration illustrates? Yes. But it's only just now that you've seen right. that visualisation yes. of it. So a few minutes ago, I've realised what this, uh, this picture is supposed to represent. So was your work and study of it, did that have a rather different illustration in your head? I mean, I, I imagine it's something um, that oh, would just yes, be Oh, yes, absolutely. So it wasn't, uh, it certainly wasn't as imaginative, didn't have the kind of, uh, the personality uh, that this, uh, this particular representation had, but yeah, 
yet. It's it's hard. It's hard to sort of well. It's hard for a number of reasons because I haven't really told you what it is um, that I've been thinking about. And on top of that, my sort of my own sort of mental picture of it is is really quite. Um, yeah, you, I mean, you can only attempt, even, even if you knew exactly uh, and precisely what it was I wanted to say, it would be hard to sort of convey that sort of internal, internal sort of picture that I have to you. Though I can sort of precisely, I can tell you in very precise terms and you will take this, this uh, precise description, you'll be able to understand it. It's not, I don't know. So, so it's just interesting, I suppose, I said earlier that mathematics, I think, is a beautiful way of, you know, conveying a thought exactly. Um, maybe what it's not quite as good at is conveying the emotion or the, uh, the sort of the feeling. And it, so it's interesting to see uh, Fomenko's representation of one of these ideas that I have some sort of precise understanding of, I guess.